Okay, this is lesson 1.1. We are starting grade 10. Here we go. The goal is to solve systems of two linear equations involving two variables using the graphical method. Okay. We're graphing lines using slope and y-intercept. So here is our very famous equation of a line. y equals mx plus b. Who can tell me what m is? Slope. Great. That is the slope. Who can tell me what B is? The y-intercept. Y-intercept. Perfect. Okay, and they're right here. Slope and y-intercept. Okay, it says example one. Complete the table. So the slope, we're going to get some volunteers here. RC, what's the slope here? And would I put X for the slope? No, just four. And the y-intercept, RC? One. Excellent. Josiah, what is the slope here? Sorry? Yeah, you, Josiah. Good, very good. Y equals negative 3, right? That just looks like this. This is Y equals negative 3. It's just a horizontal line, right? If this is 1, 2, negative 3, right? This is my Y, this is my X, right? This is the equation Y equals negative 3. It's just a horizontal line. Okay. Next one I have y equals negative x plus 7. Yeah, Adrian? This one is negative 1. Negative 1 and the y intercept? Is 7. Good, plus 7. Does this line go up or down, Chenier? Up or down? My slope is negative 1. Goes up? Like is it going to go like this, Chenier, or is it going to go like this? Yeah, the slope is actually the direction of the way the line goes, right? So this would be a positive slope, and this would be a negative slope. So what's this? Going to go up or down? Yeah, it's going down. Okay, next one. Uh, Mateus, x equals 2. Is the slope going to be, what's the slope going to be? Not 0, no. Not 2 either. Yeah, Josiah oh. said it. It's undefined. Now, why is it undefined? Josiah, tell us. Yeah, there's no M, but what? do you know what it looks like when X equals 2? How does it look? It's no, horizontal means like this way. You're right. I'm trying to get the line, though. What, was it, what would it look like? Yeah. Alex is not here. Not here. Thank you. Ethan? Yeah, it's a vertical line, right? At x equals 2. So that is the line. Okay? Now, the reason it's undefined, okay, because to get the slope of a line, does anyone know the equation for slope? That's the equation of a line. What's the equation? Of, did I say line or slope? What's the equation of the slope? It is. Yeah, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I were to take y2 minus y1, right? So we go y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay? This is all values of y. So I could say, like, if this is y equals 3 and this is y equals negative 3, right? I could say 3 minus minus 3 over... Now, x is always going to be 2, so it's 2 minus 2. So we get 3 plus 3 is 6 divided by 0. And this is what makes it undefined. Because you can't divide by anything, any number by 0. Okay? Why is that? Because it's actually infinite, right? Infinite zeros go into 6. So, so that's what makes it undefined. Yeah. We get 3. How do I get three here? Yeah. Oh, two. Sorry. What? Where? Oh, here. Yeah. I just picked a random number on y. Could be any number. Could be three. Could be three hundred. Negative three hundred. Doesn't matter, because it's hitting all of the values of y. It makes sense. If we have a vertical line, it hits every value of y. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So the y-intercept here is then what? 
So the y-intercept, remember, is defined by uh, the value of y when the line crosses y. So is there a y-intercept? No, there's none. There is no, no y-intercept. It's not applicable. Okay? All right, example two. Here we have to write the equation of the line now. All right, Stefan. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Max, next one. Uh, y equals 2 over 3 x uh, minus 4. Good. Does this line move up or down, RC? Is it like, like this or is it like this? RC, this line. Sorry? Nope. It moves up, right? Because it's positive. Even though it's a fraction, it's still positive. All right, next one, Jafet. Um, y equals 5x because there's no slope. I mean, there's no y intercept. Yep, good. Next one. Yep, Max. Y equals uh, plus 7. Good. Excellent. All right. Moving right along. Example 6. Identify the slope and y-intercept for each linear relation. Use these values to write the equation of the line. Okay? Identify the slope and y-intercept. So, if we have, let's do the first one. We're going to do it down here. So, we want to do the slope. So, let's find out the slope. What is the slope of this line? How can we figure out the slope of the line? Yeah, Ethan. Uh, you can do Yep. Yeah. So what's the equation? Uh, y2, y2 minus. Yeah. So we can think of it as y2 minus 1 or rise over run. You might want to write that first. So the rise is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in order to get these two values of y and these two values of x, how do I do that? Yeah, Ethan? Yeah, I can pick any two points on this graph. So we're going to pick some easy points here. Let's pick uh, this one because we know y is 0. And let's pick this one because we know x is 0. So this point here is negative 4, 0. And this point here is 0, 2. Any questions on how or why I chose those two points? Yeah? No, I was asking if you had a question on why I chose them. I just chose them because they were the intercepts. They're very easy. So in this case, y2 is the, is the value on the right. We're going to start with this point. So the first y value is 2 here. So we have 2 minus the y value here is 0 over the x value is 0 minus the x value is negative 4. So we get 2 over positive 4, which is 1 half. All right? Any questions there? So we got the slope is one half. Engineer, what's the y-intercept for this graph? Like where, 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 what are you talking about? Like where x or y No, I'm talking about the y-intercept. So where the line crosses the, the y-axis. Oh, um, positive two. Positive two, good. Okay, so Chenier, keep going. What is the formula for this line then? We have the slope here, and we have the y-intercept here. Y equals uh, 2x. 2x? Nope. Uh, y equals 2. Y equals 2? No. 2 is the y-intercept. What's the slope? Uh, 1 and a half. I said this is the slope. Yeah, it's one and a half. Yeah. That's not one and a half though, that's a half. There's no one there. Okay, so just be a half what? Then what? Plus two or Nope. Rudy, can you help him out? Very good. You understand why, Chenier? 
Not really. So a half is the slope, that's M. And then two you told us was the y-intercept, so that's B. Okay? All right, Josiah, you're gonna help me out on this one. What are the, what's this point? These are the points we're gonna choose. What's that point? Josiah? Okay. And let's use this other one because it's easy. What's the point there? Zero and two. You're right, but what order would I put those in? Two zero, right. Why did why a two zero not zero two, Josiah? Yeah, X is first. Okay, X is two, so two zero. Okay, so then we, we use the same formula to calculate the slope. M is equal to Y2 minus Y1. Now, I choose, remember, the, the point on the, the right side of the graph, that's what that's the point two. And the one on the left of that is point one. Okay, so can you fin finish this off for me, RC? M is equal to what? Yep. Excellent. So then I get what? Not six, but... See that negative there? Negative six over two. Good. So we get negative three. That's our slope. How, what's the y-intercept uh, value here, Douglas? What's B equal to, Douglas? Uh, three. Negative three. Three. Negative three. So it's the Y-intercept, the Y-value when the line crosses the Y-axis. Oh, six. Yeah, it's six, right? Positive six, right? Make sense? Yeah. Okay, and then, who have I not asked? Teori, what's the equation of this line? Excellent. Very good. Okay, C. What's the equation of this line? If you can't see it, that's a 4 right here. Crosses on the 4. What's the equation of this line? Mateus. Um, yeah. Right. Sorry? X what for? Just X4? What do I write? No. Y equals 4X? No. Adrian? Is it just X equals 4 Perfect, yep. You understand why, Matthias? Because x is 4, x is here, this is 4. So all of the values of 4, that's the equation of the line. No slope. All right, Milkius, what's the equation of this line? Um, y equals minus 2. Very good. Any questions? Any of those? Slope. Slope is equal to rise over run. The slope formula here is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Rise over run. Example 3. What is the slope of the line segment between... I got an extra. Two, okay, thanks. 2, 4, and B, 6, 11. The slope of the line between these two points. Okay, so here is my... First point, x1, y1. My second point, x equals 6, x, y equals 12. Plug it into my formula, 12 minus 4, right? y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. I get 8 over 4 equal to 2. So the slope of the line segment is 2. 
Example four. What's the slope of the line segment of these two values now? There's my two points, x1, y1, x2, y2. I subtract the y values. Negative three minus minus seven becomes plus seven. Minus three plus seven is four. Minus four minus minus three is plus three. That becomes negative one. We get negative four. Okay, so that's my slope for that, those two points. Any questions for those two? No? All right. Example five, determine the equation of the line. I'm gonna stop at this, these last two, okay? We're gonna do the equation of the line very quickly here for these two. Okay, remember the equation of the line is y equals mx plus b. We need to solve therefore for m and b. How can I get the value of m for this line? What's the first thing we need to do to get the value of m? Should I? Okay, you can just tell me the slope by looking at the line? You're right, we need the point. So which point should we pick? Yeah, so what is it? Okay, yeah, and? What's the other point? Okay, what is it? Yep. Nope. What's the y value of this point? Yeah, good. Okay, and then we just subtract, right? We're going to take away 20. So we're going to say equal to 20 minus 0 over 0 minus minus 2. So we get 20 over positive 2. We get 10. Okay? And our B value in this case, Andrew, is what? Uh, B value is 20. 20. So what's the equation of the line, Andrew? Uh, M equals, oh, sorry, uh, Y equals 20X plus 20. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 10X plus 20. Good. Okay. This one I'm going to do very quickly. We can hurry up here. Oh, they actually asked, they're telling us the points to use here. You can see M and N, so we can use those two points. N is, I'm going to look closely because I can see it, 8 and negative 5. And then M is 0 and negative 3. So our slope is equal to negative 5 minus minus 3 over 8 minus 0. So we get negative, no, just let me finish this, guys, one minute. So we get negative 5 plus 3 over 8. We get negative 2 over 8. We get 1 quarter, negative 1 quarter. So that's our slope. Our y-intercept is negative 3. We know that from here. So our formula becomes y equals negative 1 quarter x minus 3. Any questions? No homework today except for the quiz. I want the quiz perfect. It will be marked.